Good day. Have you ever wanted to sign into your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine just using your Office 365 credentials? You know, your username and password from, well, what's now called Microsoft 365? Well, it was impossible in the past, but now it's really easy. And we'll show you how to do it in just a second. We do want to address a couple of things uh, before we get into this. If you're a small business and you're listening to this and you think, wow, I can get rid of my Active Directory servers now. I don't need, any, I don't need to run the proper domain anymore in-house. Yeah, you do, because this solution is purely about authentication. It doesn't allow you to control it, can't set group policies. If you want to do that, you'd have to use something like Intune. And so I guess it gets possible, but it's not a full replacement for sure, by any stretch actually, for your in-house domain controllers. Okay, let's move back to the simple question of how do we do it? I've got an Office 365 account, and I just want to sign into my PC. Previously, what I had to do was have a Microsoft account, and then I would sign into my Office 365 stuff using different credentials. And that's just a pain. You can improve security by reducing the number of places users have to enter credentials. And this is a great one. Once we set this up, you'll be able to have single sign-on set up for salesforce.com, Workday, Dropbox Enterprise, and a whole ton of other primarily cloud-based services that are federated with Microsoft. Now, what do you need to do this? Well, first, you need to have a Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Enterprise machine. In other words, if you have Windows 10 Home, it's not gonna work. You also need to have an Office 365 account, which is now a Microsoft 365 account. They've renamed it. And the first thing you need to do is to get into your Azure Active Directory and make sure that domain join is allowed. Now you think to yourself, I'm a small business or I'm just myself. I don't know what Azure is. I hear about it, but I, I don't have an account. Yeah, you do. If you have a Microsoft or Office 365 account, you have an Azure account. So what you need to do is just bring up a new browser and surf to portal.azure.com. Sign in. I'm going to block this so you can't see it. I've got username and password, and I've also got two-factor authentication set up. And to that end, by the way, I'll put a little link in the top right-hand corner right now showing you how to set up two-factor authentication because if you don't, you really should. And it's really easy. So, okay, let's move on. So I'm just going to approve using my phone. There we go. So now I can sign in. Bingo bongo. Where do we need to go here? Not very hard. Click on Azure Active Directory. If you don't see it in this list, just do a search for it up top here but it's Azure Active Directory. It's usually the first item, although not always. Then over on the far left, select Devices. Then select Device Settings. And this is what you need to have. Users may join devices to Azure AD, right? There's the little help bubble that you can read yourself. You'll also note this two-factor authentication blurb down at the bottom here. Really good idea to have, but not the end of the earth to leave it off. I'm not going to require it for this demonstration. Okay, let's move on. Now, I've got a laptop beside me that I want to sign in with my Office 365 credentials. So I'm going to remote off to it right now just so that you can see it. In case you're wondering, yes, this is Windows 11. Now, in your case, you're just going to walk over to your machine. You're not going to remote to it but I want you to be able to see this, so I'm gonna to remote to it. In your case, you're not going to do this, you're just gonna walk over to the machine, but here's my laptop, and I want to sign in to that, to that laptop using my Microsoft Office 365, now called Microsoft 365 credentials. So let's do it. Now keep in mind that I'm doing this with a machine that's already uh, up and running, but if you were doing this from a brand new machine that you just taken out of the box, you'd have roughly the same process. During the install process, it'll ask you what account you want to use. Okay, so let's click Start. Click on our the little head here. Select Change Account Settings. Select Access Work or School. Select Connect. Now here's where you're going to be tempted just to put in your uh, email address. Yeah, that's not going to work. You need to do this. Join this device to Azure Active Directory. So let's click that. And I'm going to use my Microsoft 365 credentials. I'm going to block it out so you can't see it, obviously. And 
and I have two-factor authentication set up, so I have to click on it, my phone. You probably don't have that, although, as I said, it's a great idea. Is this your organization? You bet it is. Click join. Bingo. Now, let's go check it out. I'll sign off. Now on my laptop, I now have a third option because I had two users before. Now I have this other user and that is like a domain. I can choose anybody I want. In my case, it has to be the one that's already been approved on this machine, which is this one. I'm gonna type it in and you're not gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna block it. And you'll see it will build a nice spanky new profile for me using my Office 365 credentials. All right, I'm not gonna make you wait through this. This is gonna take eh, a few seconds, but I don't wanna hold you up. All right, and now it's coming up and it's saying, hey, you should probably set up a pin. Uh, and by the way, love pins. Setting up a pin. I'm gonna set up a pin on this machine. There we go. I'm now signed in using my Office 365, now Microsoft 365 credential, username and password. Teams automatically configured itself, which is great. A bit oddly, OneDrive didn't. So I'm gonna go into OneDrive here and let's set it up. Yay. Sure. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Well, don't care as in I already know it. I'll put some OneDrive stuff up in the top right hand corner, right there, in case you are interested. Okay. Let's go look at my documents. Bingo, they're flowing in. Just one other thing to note. You can now click on, back in your Azure Active Directory, you can now click on all devices and you'll see all of the devices that you were working on, including this one. In my case, it was Lenovo Laptop 1 and you'll see all of these other ones are Azure registered. This one's actually domain joined. Let's go click on it, find out what it does. Not much. You can see I can disable it and I can delete it. That's about it. If I had Intune set up on this uh, machine, I could use it for MDM, I'm sure, but I mobile device management, by the way, but I don't have it up. Hey, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you click the, the thumbs up. Uh, and if you like this type of thing, click subscribe. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10, Windows 11, Azure, Microsoft 365. This is what we do. And the thumbs up and subscribe really help with the Google algorithm. So super appreciated. If you have a question or a comment, put it in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. Or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.